Hey, what's up, guys? So you know, it's best here. Motorola is bringing back the Razer. No, it's not the flip phone from back in the day, but it is bringing back, or not bringing back, but it just announced their brand new Motorola Droid Razer, which is going to be their Android super smartphone when it eventually comes out. And this phone is actually the thinnest phone out there. It's going to be 7.1 millimeters thin. That is going to be Razer, Razer thin, hence the name, I guess. Uh, but also, too, it's going to have some nice specs on the inside. But let's go ahead and talk about uh, just the, the phone itself, because even though it's going to be that thin, it's not going to be easy to break at all. Uh, the screen itself is a 4.3 in super AMOLED screen um, that screen itself is going to be Gorilla Glass so you'll be able to drop it and it shouldn't break at all very easily and also too it's going to be scratch proof or scratch resistant it also has some Kevlar you know functionality or Kevlar protection inside the phone itself um, and also too it does have the splash guard which is a uh, type of protection where it's not going to be total waterproof but um, you are going to be walking through the rain or, or you accidentally spill some of your drink or your phone something like that you know that type of you know saturation of water it's not going to completely ruin your phone um, that also too as far as the inside it has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor also does have one gigabyte of ram and also does have an eight megapixel camera which can record in 1080p hd at 30 frames per second as well now this thing is going to have amazing battery life you'll be able to get about 12.5 hours of talk time and around about eight hours of uh, eight to nine hours of video playback so the battery itself is going to be very very nice and be able to withstand you know very very heavy usage now let's going to talk about some of the software that it, the uh that's, this raise is going to have it's going to have this smart actions technology which you could be able to automate make certain things so you know every day you want your alarm to go off or every day you want this application to turn off when you get home or something like that um, you can add those little different smart actions and that will help save your battery life as well and I think that if you do use the smart act actions in a, a you know in the correct way I guess that's what they said and you'll be able to get about an extra 30 percent of battery life uh, from your day-to-day -day usage so the smart actions are kind of kind of a mix between reminders and and just notifications and alarms and just tasks uh, but it's really cool that you know if you want to have you know you may have your GPS application that you may use, but you know every time you come home, you want that thing to turn off, and you're not going to be using it while you're at home. Um, you can set up that type of task. So I think that actually is going to be pretty cool, a nice little uh, functionality added to it. And also, too, this phone is going to be having their Moto Cast, which is going to be their cloud type of functionality, where you'll be able to upload uh, photos and music or you know, videos and things like that up to your own personal cloud. And they said it's going to be pretty safe and pretty secure. Well, that's the same thing, right? Um, but that's their type of cloud functionality that everybody's going to be coming out with. And also, too, it does have a ton of accessories and it's going to have a Bluetooth headset, uh, two different laptop docks. If you want to dock this thing, this is going to be one of those phones you can dock and use as a laptop. Uh, you can buy the screen and the keyboard, which again, they haven't set the prices on that, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty expensive. So, but anyway, it's got portable power pack, universal uh, travel charger, uh, vehicle navigations dock, HD station, HD dock, a wireless keyboard, and without further ado, yes, on the inside of this phone itself, this is not an accessory, but this is part of the features. Uh, it will have 4G LTE as well. So, this thing is going to be streaming fast as far as data. And download things to your phone so that is the phone itself pre-order starts on October 27th it's going to be released in November so yes I think this is going to be that Android super smartphone that uh, I think everybody's going to want when it, when it comes out and again Google did buy Motorola Mobility so the same people that are making this phone are basically Google is making this phone so uh, I'm pretty sure Google is going to be back in this phone that I don't think they really talk too much about um, the software as far as what version of Android is going to be running but I think it's pretty safe to say they will probably be running um, ice cream sandwich when that does come out as well so anyway guys let's just keep you up to date with the Motorola Droid Razor leave a comment down below about what you think about this phone is this going to be the super smart Android phone that you want if you have an iPhone 4s it's going to be able to draw you away and leave a comment down below and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace my brand new iphone 4s giveaway yes you have your chance to win one of these brand new bad boys right here and i'm just really throwing off the white balance here you have your chance to win one of these brand new iphone 4s which apple just came out and said um, in the first three days of sales they sold over four million of these things so that's a